Hey! Welcome to the series of Law of Attraction for Dummies. Today, sponsored by The Color Green, and we are going to talk about lots of ways, 10 tips, very simple tips to manifest a car, a dream car, a car you've always wanted, a car you've seen other people drive and you are jealous or resent them when you're on the road. That car that you want, I'm going to give you 10 tips to get the car. Okay, first thing, you have to go to bed at night, wake up in the morning, do it twice a day. Just do it. Visualize the car. You have to see it in your head. You have to see yourself in a scene. For me, it was really simple. I would see myself getting into the car I wanted and someone saying, is that your car? with disbelief. So I could hear that sentence, is that your car? So I would visualize that and the feeling I would get if someone said that to me and how amazing it would be to be sitting in that car. So create a little scene. It doesn't matter what it is, but you have to be connected to the car. You have to be driving the car, in the car, seeing the car, think about the color, the model, think about Anything to do with the car, the stereo, the leather seats, is it cream, is it black, any of those details, you have to be specific. Clarity. The universe likes clarity, so get specific about the car you want. Second thing, meditate. I know that sounds like a fancy word, but really you can just relax. Just lay on the lounge or sit in a chair, do some breathing in and out. Abraham Hicks, the greatest lesson, they say, in attracting your desires and allowing what you want is the breathing exercise breathing in breathing out it's really simple it doesn't have to be this fancy meditation thing from India it can just be really simple breathing so that's number one that's number two third one treasure map treasure map mind map been called lots of different things cut out write words get a nice big bright bit of paper. Today the theme is green, so I've done a green treasure map. I'm going to show you. Okay, so this has got lots of things on it that are colorful, fun, beautiful. When I look at them, they feel really good. So words are put in, cut out words, written words, painted words, texted words, whatever, just, yep. Yeah make it as colorful and as fun as you can yeah look there's even some bottles of wine on that one <laughs> so yeah it can be all sorts of things so if you're doing the car stick lots of car things on your car treasure map do a treasure map for the car so you would write how many speeds it's got how automatic manual you would write Leather seats, cloth seats, cream interior, black interior, whatever it is that you know about the car. Be specific. If you're not sure, go and look around at car yards, at cars in the street. Peer in the windows, have a little look, see what it is you like and what you don't like. You've got to be specific if it's going to come to you. Okay, then that's number three. Number four, do some form of exercise. Walking, yoga, uh, martial art. Uh, basketball doesn't really matter get your head off not having the car go and do something that you like to do and that it's it makes you breathe in and out it gets oxygen in your blood and it gets you moving energetically so that's I know that sounds unrelated but it's not unrelated it is really really good thing to do so it uh, really it gets your head off not having it it also makes you feel better about yourself and then when you're feeling better and you've got oxygen in your blood you're more positive and when you're more positive when you think about the car you think you can have it more easily so yes very important step now if you are doing a exercise like walking or yoga you can actually affirm while you're doing it so 
I love driving my beautiful car. I love sitting in my beautiful car and I love listening to the music. I love the stereo in the car. I love playing my favorite songs in the car. I love the push button windows. I love the smell of the leather seats. I love that it's a stick shift or manual and I love that I can afford this and pay for it. I mean, pay for it cash. Maybe even stretch yourself, pay for it cash, do it without a loan. Maybe that'd be good too. So the car is not a burden, it's an actual asset and you can be free when you drive it. So yeah, so think of an affirmation when you are doing the exercise. So I love my beautiful car or something like, oh, I've wanted this car so long, it feels so good to have it. Anything like that, you just gotta feel good when you say it and say it and say it and say it. Now, if you're really committed to getting this car, say it a hundred times a day. No, you don't have to count how many times that is because you, you, you won't be able to. But just say it. Say it when you're driving your not so perfect car or you're on the bus. Say it when you're doing the dishes. Say it when you're in the toilet. Say it when you're in the shower. Say it when you have got some idle time at the end of the day. Say it any time where you're not talking to anybody. And if you need to, get away from people and do it. It's, you gotta, if you really want this car, do this for three to six weeks and then see what happens. So reading, read, read, read anything, read anything or get on YouTube and listening, listening to somebody read something about the law of attraction. There has to be in your head that you know you can get this car. So anything you can do to reinforce that you're getting this car through the law of attraction, listen to something every day, read something every day every day commit to it every day just do it you want the car then just do it okay i don't even know how many we're up to there one two three four five gratitude journal we're up to number six okay so number six write in your gratitude journal write the good stuff about what's going on in your life now so simple things thanks for the sun thanks for the water thanks for Oh, the hot shower I had today, thanks for the day off, thanks for the amazing meal, thanks for that I live in Australia or wherever you live, thanks for my health, thanks for my weight, thanks for whatever, name at least if you can do it and you're committed because you want to get this car, right? You want to get the car? Write 50 things, it doesn't take that long. Once you do it every day, it just becomes, you go on a roll. You'll even start to give thanks for the doorknob on your front door so you can get in. It can be really simple things. Okay, so number seven. Oh, live from it. Live from it. Yeah, this is a, an odd one. You have to live from it. So what that means is you have to walk around as if you already got that car in the garage. So you've got the car in the garage, you're in the house, you know you're about to go out to go shopping or go to work, go to see a friend, and you know you're going to go beep beep and you're going to get into that car, the really, really good car that you want. So walk around with the feeling of, I've got that car downstairs or outside, I've got that car. And that feeling is a feeling of the absence of, I don't have that car. So that's really important, the absence of I don't have that car because I don't have that car is a very distinct feeling different to I have the car. <laughs> it's true, you know, because when you don't have something, you know what that feeling is. It's not a good feeling, especially if you really want it right now. So yeah, so that's another tip. Now, um, oh yeah, the really important one. The really important one is, when I was driving my really not so attractive car, in the middle of the steering wheel there's a little symbol. Now when you're in traffic, obviously you can't do this while you're driving because you need to be concentrating. When you're in traffic, when you're at a set of red lights, excuse me, just draw your finger around and draw the symbol of whatever car you want because they've all got a logo. So draw whatever it is. If it's a Volkswagen, VW with the, six, the circle around it. Audi's got four circles too. So whatever the symbol is, draw it and put your hand on the wheel and go, oh, oh, I'm driving that car. I love it. 
It's so good. This car is mine. And I visualized this and I thought about this and I started to believe it more and more and more. And then the car came. So do that every time you're at a red light. Instead of staring out the window, just put your hand on the thing, shut your eyes for a second and just go, oh, I love this car and all the features that it has. And then open your eyes and draw the symbol. Just draw the symbol whenever you get a moment. Just draw that symbol on the steering wheel. That's one of the little tips. Yes. And, you know, there's lots of other things you can do that are important too. Like, it's going to be different for everybody. So I'll just give you a few ideas. Do a thing that makes you feel good. Feeling good is the magnet to the car. Feeling good is the magnet to anything that you want. Feeling good sounds like a simple small thing. It's a huge thing. Even if you're not thinking about what you want, go and do something that makes you feel good. So it could be swimming, it could be dancing, it could be singing, it could be um, doing yoga, it could be cooking, it could be um, painting or usually a lot of creative things are easy to do and get into the feeling of because you just feel good when you're doing that activity. So find more than one activity, find lots of activities if you can that make you feel really, really good. So yeah, so there's all the tips. I don't even know if that's 10. I didn't count. I got stuck at six and I forgot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you one little thing at the end. It's the story, the story of how I got the car. I did all these things and now downstairs in my security parking is the car and how it happened was like this I did the little circle on my steering wheel and I kept doing it and I decided I wanted to get um, one of three cars either a Volkswagen Jetta a black sedan with a cream interior or a BMW 318i that was silver or a Citroen French car because I'm French and I wanted a French car. I didn't realize all three of those cars are actually European. So I kept doing all the things that I told you about. I would go dancing, I would go, did the treasure map for the car, did oh, affirmations a hundred times a day about the car, visualized myself driving the car, actually went and test drove a couple of cars even though I didn't have the money. And um, then I decided that Oh, I had a moment of panic about, I really want a car without a loan, but I couldn't work out how to do that. So I, I reneged and went to get a loan. And I didn't really want a loan, which is funny because they didn't get, want to give me one either. So I just kept visualizing having this car. And I asked my boss at the time for some pay slips. And he, he gave me the payslips and he said, you know, you want to buy a car? And I said, yeah. Well, he's Chinese, so he said, you want to buy a car? <laughs> I said, yeah, I do. He said, I have car for sale. I have car. I bring you car. So he, and then he left because I was serving customers. I didn't even get a chance to ask him what car it was. Now, I've got to rewind a little bit. This story is going to go from bits and pieces. But two weeks before, I was with his wife. And she picked me up for something and she had a beautiful little BMW and it was silver and I had never been in one. And I hopped in this car and it ended up that I said to myself in my head, not out loud, wow, I'm going to have a car like this one day. And so off we went and I got to sit in this car with a beautiful black leather interior and it had a great stereo and, you know, it was a one owner and it was a, a car that I wanted, a little 318i sedan. So fast forward to my boss, the man boss, and it ended up that he brings me the car two days later and he says, I go to Hong Kong, you keep car for one month, then you see if you buy. And I, I said, okay, because I'm always interested when something shows up without me going to look for it. So it ended up that I don't even know what kind of car it was. We walked out into the car park and he goes beep beep and this car thing opens up uh, you know the car opens and we walk over to it and i hadn't even told him you know too much about well about the law of attraction i've told him nothing but 
I had done my treasure map and this car was on my treasure map and it was the silver BMW 318i. So he goes to Hong Kong, he comes back and of course I nearly levitate in this car as I drive it home for the first night. He took my car home and it ends up that um, it ends up that I drive his car for a month and then he comes back. I had about I don't know, $5,000 in the bank and I paid him that and then I owed him, you know, for the rest of the car. Anyway, I, I, I kept trying to get loans for the car but I kept wanting to pay that car cash. I wanted to pay the car cash and for it to be debt free. So, lo and behold, kept doing all these things that I just told you about. Continued to go, continued to do, continued to see, continued to meditate, continued to do all those things. And within a very short period of time, I think it was a couple of months, I was offered a job where they paid me the whole year in advance and I paid off the rest of the car. So, woohoo! That's right, be happy. So that's session one, manifesting your dream car. And I'm gonna do more of these because there's so many other topics that we're going to cover here in the Law of Attraction for Dummies series. Yay! Thanks for joining me.